Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to download any file through Cypress. So, in your testing, you may have that you may need to download any PDF file or any image. So, we'll see how we can download that file, you know, through the Cypress. Uh, uh, and the Cypress have one of very uh, handy plugin. It's called uh, Download File. You know, so we can use that uh, that plugin to do you know this kind of tax like uh, to download any file very easily within a short command. Okay, let's see. Let's see about the uh, plugin first. So if you go to uh, Cypress official site, underneath the plugins, you can find a one of the plugins is called Cypress Download File. Okay, so if you click on there. And here is all their. This is their uh, Git repo file, uh, page. So here you can find all the information. What do you need to do? You know uh, to download uh, this plugin to activate this plugin uh, to your project and how to use it. Okay. So it's very simple, straightforward uh, instruction. You can see installation the module. So first uh, you have to install it. Okay. So let's. What you can do? We can minimize this page side by side so that we can follow it to our BS code okay so so first install it run this command okay so open your VS code sorry so open your VS code and after that run this file run this command so first we'll install this plugin okay npm install cypress download file Okay, so it's downloading. Okay, so looks good. And the next, so next would be uh, at the following line. You can see it's easily say saying it's very clear instruction to support command or js and support command or js. Just copy this line and go to support command the js support command or js up there and just you can add this line okay so after you add it make sure you know you save it so you can save control s and after that what's next and after that go to your cypress plugin index.js index.js plugin under the index index.js plugin so you can see plugin and index here is the file and here you know you may have some external code um, and, uh, I mean your previous code that's fine you can update over here or just I would say just add it with the new right here that should be good and just make sure you save it so you can save all okay so that's the thing and next so next after that okay so now you can this is the command you know this is the command to uh, run very simple command you can see the basic command to uh, download any file so before that let's create um, one of our our one of our uh, test case uh, test uh, you know uh, JS file okay, let's minimize this so here let's me create a very simple okay, file so I would say give a name uh, I would say give a name it's probably file download file download file download test dot js okay so file download test dot js Cypress download file and then let's create a simple case so I just you know uh, simply I create a simple test cases as you see so there is a describe uh, block this is my describe block and this is my it block which is my test cases so simple test cases uh, I would say not the checkbox I would say download okay uh, download file test okay and then just very simple okay and after that 
what would be the our command our command would be okay you can see sci dot download file okay this is my command and then you are going to pass the link of the file where you have a file okay let me explain you let copy this so in my test file uh, block I mean it block I'll, I can pass this one so this is the command site download file and then this is the URL where the file is going to download so this is one of the examples say you know in Wikipedia there is an example in this if you follow this link you will find there is an image so we're going to download so assume that this is your URL to download so whatever your URL or, or the root directory path of the your file you can pass over here and after that this is the folder where your your file uh, will download in a folder it will automatically create a folder in, you know in your project so you can say my download you know my download CSC yes, you can this is just folder name whatever the name you want to give and this is like you know uh, uh, your uh, file name so whatever the file name would be so maybe you can say demo file okay demo file dot jpeg should be good okay so save it make sure you save all of the things okay save everything so let's run our test runner okay we're going to run our test runner so npx cypress uh, open So let's open the test runner, then run run this uh, JS file, and then we're supposed to see a folder name is my downloads. And inside this, it's supposed to see a file name is demo file JPEG. Okay, so here is the test runner. So our test case's name is uh, file download uh, test JS file download. And say file download this is the one file download test js so run it okay you can see it's passed because it's it just download the file right so you can see you know so it's it is passed right so just close it let's see if we just minimize uh, over here yeah maybe we need to just uh, refresh our project okay refresh maybe we need to refresh our project just refresh the project okay and after that let's see a folder here we go you can see there is a folder name is my do my download so it's exactly the same name you gave over here this is the one let's open it here is it you you can see the the file name so demo file so demo file so let's open this here is it so this is the example okay this is this is the image so that's the very easiest way you can download any file from your uh, application through the Cypress I hope you know you'll you you enjoyed thanks a lot if you if you feel this you know it was helpful and you like the tutorial please don't forget to share with others and subscribe our channel thanks a lot have a good one bye bye